good afternoon to all of you, and especially to Tyrone and Melissa. This is your day, and uh, I'm excited for you. Will you, in the presence of God and these witnesses, take Melissa, the woman by your side, to be your wedded wife? Will you love and cherish her, provide and care for her in health and sickness, in prosperity and adversity, exercising patience, kindness, and forbearance toward her, live with her in peace as becomes a faithful Christian husband, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live. I will. Melissa, will you, in the presence of God and these witnesses, take Tyrone, the man by your side, to be your wedded husband, Will you love and cherish him in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity? Share with him the joys and sorrows of life. Exercise patience, kindness, and forbearance toward him, and live with him in peace, as becomes a faithful, submissive Christian wife. And forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live. I will. Tyrone and Melissa, the God of heaven and the God of earth has heard your covenant. You are now husband and wife. May the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and Jacob bless you abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Go forth in peace, fear God, honor him, keep his commandments, and may God richly and abundantly bless this union. And what God has joined together, let no man put us under. Amen. I won't leave your side for anything. What would be the point I'm with you through and through What I was looking for was everything And everything I found Well, honey, I found it on you You're the song I want to sing You're the story I want to tell you're the reason I believe that honey love is a ringing bell. Like I've known Christ all my life, and um, when I first met, when I didn't really know Tyrone, and I was kind of like, "What is this guy?" I told Christ, I was like, "I'm gonna have to have words with this man." But um, she was like, "No, no, let him go." And um, yeah, I think. Yeah, I know, I know for sure that I'm tired of going to take great care of Christ. And I remember one day we were driving down the road through Ephrata. And I'm not sure, like, I don't know what they were doing. I I guess he was looking at her, and she was looking at him or something. And, like, she had her hand out of the window of the vehicle. 
And like, all I remember is like, they suddenly pulled over, let it be over here, and they were like looking at each other, and her hand like smacked the mailbox going like 40 miles an hour. And like broke her arm, like dislocated the elbow. And <laughs> I just was like, yeah, crazy stuff. Um, yeah, I'm gonna miss hanging out with you as much, probably. But I know that, um, yeah, I know you got a good guy, and he's gonna really take good care of you. And yeah, blessings to you guys. When she was, I don't know how old, probably four or five years old, or maybe younger, I went with CAM <coughs> to uh, Florida on a work project. And I was, my good wife took care of things at home, and I don't know who really helped her chore. I don't remember those details. But when I was, when I came back home, Melissa was so glad to see me. You know, she likes to sing. She writes some songs. I don't think she wrote this one, but she had it well memorized. And this was what it was. Daddy's home from Florida, and I want attention. <laughs> that was nice, I like that.